And now we go to Pat Brown. She's not only watching the East, but also finding out how it's affecting us and travel plans and lots of people affected by this. It's just oh, crazy. yeah. A lot of planes, uh, they, they you can't take off because you can't land. Airports are closed. Here in San Diego, I'm forecasting some dense fog overnight, and we already are seeing some of that up in Encinitas along the I-5, so just beware of that. But let's take a look at... Uh, at to this super storm of Sandy, as you can see here. In fact, let's zoom in a little bit tighter on it. And you can see where the bands of the most intense rain are coming down right now, anywhere from Northern Virginia all the way out to Pittsburgh. And if we take a look at some of our uh, hundreds of weather stations we have all across the country. Now, obviously, with this kind of uh, wind and rain, in fact, 46 miles per hour right now, Cape May, New Jersey, obviously their thermometer is not working. It's not zero degrees, but winds gusting up to 65 miles an hour there. So here in San Diego, there's that fog along the coast coming in. Temperatures are starting to fall, but it was really quite a nice warm day above average everywhere. Temperatures will be going down because this area of high pressure we have here is going to get pushed out of way by this cold front and this low pressure that is approaching. That's going to bring us back that marine layer and bring down our temperatures. 10 News Marine Layer Futurecast shows it's surging back on shore. We'll get back to into our normal weather pattern very shortly. Tomorrow will still be a little bit above average. Coast 76, inland 81. But then you see how temperatures go down by Thursday and Friday. We'll be back to our average temperatures at the coast, which is 71. And in the inland valleys, we'll be back into the 70. As well, low 70s there on Friday, 73 degrees. But as far as Superstorm Sandy, we'll keep you uh, right up to date with that right here on 10 News.